What's up guys, my name is Dean, aka the Blue Crusader, and welcome back to the channel. Minecraft has a big lineup of many awesome blocks, each having different purposes, and with each Minecraft update, the pool of blocks that you can use to decorate your bases or to build with keeps on expanding. People love building or doing up their house, and by having an extensive collection of items and blocks, we can make our homes and fortresses look amazing, not only in the exterior, but in the interior too. Today I'll be talking about the top Top 10 Minecraft Cosmetic Mods of All Time Part 2. For 10 more amazing cosmetic mods, make sure to check out Part 1 linked below or on the side of this video right now. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Number 10 Moving Elevators with this mod you can construct real working moving elevators in Minecraft that move you and any other entities on their platform up to multiple floors when you press the button. The platform can vary in size or move at varied speeds also, and the elevator controller and display blocks can be disguised as other blocks to blend in and look clean. This is a really nice mod because elevators have always been a really interesting element of Minecraft for me, and making one in vanilla just doesn't cut it as it takes too much redstone knowledge and they look really messy. Number 9, Just Enough Torches. This mod introduces a series of different torches and lamps made from different types of materials in game which are stone, netherrack, prismarine, obsidian and gold and it brings torches of each of these types as well as lamps made from lapis, obsidian and quartz. The prismarine torches in this mod can also be placed underwater to fit into the 1.13 update aquatic theme. The obsidian torches and lamps are also blast proof due to the base block's resistance level and lamps in this mod function exactly the same as the already existent redstone lamps in the vanilla game. Number 8 Additional Lights this mod introduces a series of different lights into the game with 8 new types, 2 new fire types and over 200 different variations. All of these lights come in different models and sizes and include fire pits, standing torches, block fires on a column, small candle like flames, better torches to hang up on walls, braziers and a lot more. I really like this mod just for its decoration purpose and the fact that they blend in with all of the existing blocks that are already within the game. Number 7, Engineer's Doors. The Engineer's Doors mod adds different doors, trap doors, and fence gates made out of materials from the Immersive Engineering mod, meaning it's required to be installed to use this one. There's brand new doors made of concrete and treated wood, trap doors, fence gates made from aluminium, steel and treated wood, and a lot more like the steel and trap doors being redstone only. Number 6, Statues. Adding a collection of statues to the game, you'll see a variation of villager statues, statues for cows, snow golems, blazers, slimes, bats, zombies, sheep, creepers, chickens, and a large collection of others based upon nearly every mob from the vanilla game. These are just perfect to decorate your base with, or to give it that classical look. Number 5, Embellish Craft. This mod includes decorative blocks and items that enhance your creativity when you are building. A lot of blocks like chairs and doors in this mod have interaction to them, although most don't have any specific function. The whole purpose of this mod is to add tons of new decorative items like different brick types, new roof tiles, wallpaper blocks, 16 colour variants of beds, chess, different door variants and so much more. This is a really extensive cosmetic mod for decorating your houses with. Number 4 Macaws Furniture Having featured Macaws bridges, windows and doors before, today I'll be featuring his furniture mod. If you wanted a large collection of furniture to put in your house and different combinations of furniture types, then this mod is probably for you. This mod focuses upon adding different types and styles of furniture, which includes things like nightstands, chairs and stools or wardrobes. With desks, small cupboards, tables and bookcases, there's a fairly nice collection of furniture pieces here. Number 3 Tall Gates this is a very simple concept for a mod. Usually I don't feature mods twice, although I'm pretty sure I did feature this one on a past list. This mod brings double high fence gates with the vanilla wood types to the game that connect to both fence pieces and wall blocks, so they should blend in well with your builds. You just place two normal gates of the same type above each other in a crafting bench to create one of these double high gates. 
You can right click one of the gates to open both of them at one time, or you can provide a redstone signal power input to toggle them remotely. There's a lot of different ways you can open and close these doors, and they look a lot nicer. Number 2 Rustic Rustic is a medieval style themed mod that focuses on new decorational and agricultural content focused around that style. This mod contains a bunch of different kind of features, which are bees, a new alchemy system, brand new crops, a brewing system for creating beverages that give you unique effects, some brand new tree types, all new decorative blocks and some more features. The mod is good in the sense that it actually has a good book in game that shows all of the mod's features and how to use them, which is really important these days instead of having to go on the internet and look up all the information of a mod on a wiki page. Number 1 Melissa's Doors this mod brings brand new animations for doors, trapdoors and fence gates in Minecraft as well as adding a brand new collection of several other door types with glass doors, laboratory doors, jail doors, factory doors and garage doors. They each have different original animations which are a little bit different to each other. One of the coolest features in this mod is a machine block that actually lets you build the new doors and then choose how they actually look and how you want them to appear. If you enjoyed the video give it a like and if you disagree with the top cosmetic mods in this video and you think I missed your favourite Minecraft cosmetic mod then definitely let me know what that is in the comment section below and tell me which of these 10 mods in this list was your favourite and why. Make sure to check out the top 10 cosmetic mods part 1 at the end of this video or linked below. For more Minecraft videos like this, subscribe with notifications turned on and follow me on Instagram at the Blue Crusader for more updates. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.